What's up, YouTube? This is Mathwas97, and welcome back to my career for WWE 2K17. This is the 11th episode in the series, and last time, last time Jetstorm was told by Matt Bloom himself that Triple H and Vince McMahon are starting to cool off on Jetstorm. Storm's promo performance has been down, t-shirt sales have been down, Things have just gone from bad to worse for Jetstorm, and now that Baron Blade is back in the picture, while well, Jetstorm has found himself a new rival, a rivalry renewed between Storm and Baron Blade. The old flame has been reignited, and Baron Blade, well, he's not the same man that Jetstorm fought before. Baron Blade, I mean, last episode, Jetstorm tried to ambush him during an interview, but Baron Blade nearly took Storm out. Storm only just barely walked out with the last laugh. Well, tonight, Jet Storm has got another fatal four-way as he takes on Tyson Kidd, Baron Corbin, and Daniel, who is a created wrestler, part of the My Career Invasion that's actually working for me this year. The past two years, I haven't had the luxury of it working for me. So, unfortunately, I mean, like, I think in 2K15, it kind of worked in the beginning. Like, I, if I remember correctly, I had, like, there was, like, one or maybe two people who showed up, but nothing really, nothing really happened. And then 2K16, it was just non-existent. So this year, this year, some people are showing up, and that's pretty cool, as here is one of them, this man, Daniel... I don't really know what, what what much to say about this guy. I mean, he's rocking the the black and pink hair. He's got his snap back. Yeah, all I can just say is, Daniel, you better uh, step aside and let Jet Storm pick up this W if you know what's good for you. But yes, it is Daniel Tyson Kid and Baron Corbin. Fatal four way action. Nearly a rematch from NXT TakeOver Brooklyn, but we do get to see a new face. So, I will let this match slide. Because, I mean, we've, we've seen enough. At least it's not another match with Zack Ryder. Haven't we had enough of those? I mean, last episode, Zack Ryder tried to ambush Jet Storm, but Storm shut that down. So, hopefully Ryder has learned his lesson and he will just stay away from the outcast. Speaking of, another man who Storm has defeated, he is the Lone Wolf, Baron Corbin! And yes, Baron Corbin, in the last episode, the f or, not the last episode, two episodes ago, he was part of the Fatal 4-Way at NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2, I guess. I guess that's what we'll, what we'll have to refer to it as. Yeah, I, here's what we'll do. We'll say it was NXT TakeOver Brooklyn and then NXT TakeOver Brooklyn 2. They weren't the same arena. I'll give Career Mode a pass. But if the next TakeOver is TakeOver Brooklyn, I... I there's nothing really... I, I, I can't justify that. There hasn't been a TakeOver Brooklyn 3 yet. And they certainly weren't a month, like, three consecutive months in a row. But you know what? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna justify it. I'm gonna say that the second was NXT Takeover Brooklyn two. Let's just hope that the next one can be Takeover Dallas or Takeover London. Anything but Takeover Brooklyn. We've already been there twice. Then again, you never know. With Storm's recent performance, he might not even make it on the Takeover card. Was right now. Oh, Corbin the reversal back body drop to the outside, but Storm able to dodge the attempted kick from Corbin. Meanwhile, in the ring, Tyson Kidd and Daniel are going at it. I don't know if I should call him Daniel Lesnar, because that was like his Twitter name. Also, I don't know who this belongs to, so if that's your created wrestler, well then, congratulations, you've made it into the My Career series. See, that's another thing, like, even if, even if, like, the storylines aren't that great in this year's My Career, like I said again, I probably need to make it to the main roster before I actually see anything super noteworthy, but the fact that I can at least face off against some different created wrestlers, that's pretty cool. Like, Amazing X in Episode 5, that's what that's what made that whole six-man tag match, was the fact that Amazing X was in it. 
other than that it was just generic ge uh, generic filler fodder Tyson Kidd well look at this oh Kidd was looking to pander to the crowd but Jet Storm looking to make him pay for it but Daniel is there to break it up and now the targets have switched Kidd and Storm going at it Corbin and Daniel fighting it out on the outside Nice jawbreaker there from Daniel. Oh, and a pop-up Meteora as Baron Corbin taken down on the outside. Meanwhile, Storm in the ring, knee lift as he stomps away at the chest of Tyson Kidd. Oh, and a big kick again. As now Baron Corbin looking to mock Daniel on the outside, driving the knee, and look at this, just making a mockery of this young man. Meanwhile in the ring, Jet Storm is positioning Tyson Kidd Oh, as he punches him in the in the midsection, then delivers a vicious uppercut, but Kid able to kick him off, create some separation. Into the cover now is Kid. One, two, nope, just kick out at one. Samoan drop on the outside from Corbin. Storm able to dodge the attempted kick from Kid. Kid going up. Oh, and there's that. Almost like a pop-up Yurinagi slam. And now Storm perhaps looking to take a page out of Baron Corbin's book. Driving the knee into the back of the head of Tyson Kidd. Just adding adding visual proof that Tyson Kidd is beneath Storm. And now he's above him. Oh, but not for long. The lumbar check. A power bomb on the outside from Corbin. Storm the cover on Kidd. One. Two. But a kick out by Kidd at two. Now Corbin bringing Daniel into the ring. Probably a smart strategy. Storm nearly had the victory with that lumbar check. So Corbin probably wants to be as close to any potential pinfalls as possible. Meanwhile, oh, the deep six. Daniel could be in trouble. As, well, look at this, Storm on the top rope. Baron Corbin tried to attack him. Instead, Storm looked to try to change directions in midair, but that didn't work out too well. As Kid is down, Corbin is down. Storm looking to capitalize. But no, Daniel, it would have reverse. And now a single leg Boston Crab, but that's a rope break. Which, I question why there's rope break in a Fatal 4-Way. I don't know why there has always been rope break in these Fatal 4-Ways or Triple Threats. I don't get it. But, I don't know. That's just always been a thing with these games, so... Wow, well, I... Anyways. A Minchinoku driver delivered by Daniel Corbin now. Trying to recover a bit of energy there. After taking down Jet Storm. Oh, oh, code breaker! A, a code breaker by Daniel and the hook of the leg on Kid. One! Corbin, get in there! Oh, but he's too late! Corbin is too late! And Daniel, this upstart rookie kid, gets the win. He stole my win, damn it! I told this kid, I told him to just. Just back off, let Storm get the W, and there wouldn't be any trouble, but he didn't listen, and he stole the victory. Well, Storm's hands are kind of full with Baron Blade at the moment, but uh, be sure that Daniel is next on the hit list if he sticks around long enough. If he's smart, he'll just leave right now. So the Devil picks up a victory over Brody Tyson. Aiden English knocked off by... ML Gage, so a big victory for him. The Vaude Villains defeat. You've got to be kidding me. Baron Blade beat Samoa Joe. How? How did he do it? Well, Jet Storm going after Baron Blade. This is. I don't believe. How? What has happened to Baron Blade? This is not the same Baron Blade from two years ago. This is, this is a completely different Baron Blade. Is that really Baron Blade? I, I'm thinking maybe Jaden Jet is really Baron Blade, and this is just somebody else posing as Baron Blade. Because like, what? We, where did this come from? Hey, this could actually benefit Jet Storm though. He's trying to, I mean, he's in this rivalry with Baron Blade. If Baron Blade gets a shot at the NXT Championship, Storm could potentially. I mean, think about it. Blade just beat the NXT champion. Storm out here tonight looking to make a statement out of Baron Blade, leave his mark. 
potentially get himself into a triple threat at the next NXT TakeOver? We can only hope, as right now, Storm out. And Baron Blade is laid out by the outcast. Jet Storm takes out his arch nemesis one more time here on main event. And it looks like next episode, Jet Storm will go one on one with Baron Blade. So be sure to stick around for that matchup. I hope you've enjoyed this edition of my career mode. As it looks like Storm is still number four, Baron Blade still number one. So we'll see how this situation develops. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, keep on YouTubing.